Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft with Beef. Is that what it's officially called? Sure. I've chopped down a few of these trees in between episodes. Hi there. What the heck are you selling, sir? Ooh, four emeralds. Hmm. You know what? A slime ball might actually be really handy because, I, well, I was going to say I can just make a lead with the slime balls, but hold on. I'm so sorry I'm doing this. I'm so sorry. I don't want you guys to spit on me. I don't want any trouble. Please. I just want your leads. And I'm probably going to just murder you just because you're a witness to what I just did. <laughs> I don't want you to tell anybody about it. Nice. I got two leads, guys. <laughs> um, okay, this is good already. Can I use leads on wild horses? I don't think I've ever tried that before. This spotted one is a beauty. Come here, little... Spotted horse. Thank you very much. Oh, this is good. This is good. Do the leads still break if you get like a certain distance away from the animals? Probably, right? Most likely. I'm going to go bring this guy up the hill here. Or maybe we'll set him down here. But I don't have a fence post here. Okay, you know what? Let's just go up the hill. There, horse. It's going to be fine. I got to make a bunch of fences because today I'm going to start, uh, I guess... What's the word? Whoa. Don't fall down, please. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Zoning off the area for my cattle? Huh? I'm going to start calling them cattle. I feel like a real cowboy. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to create that enchanting table because we can finally enchant some armor and have a little extra protection against all this bad stuff that wants to kill us. What in the heck? Hold on a second. How did that even happen? How did that even happen? Let me just put this... We have a villager here. I mean, this could be the start of a really good villager trading opportunity. Right? Guys, get out of the way, guys. No, no, you can't get out. You can't get out. This is for you and the villager. I can't believe I have a villager in here. Oh, and my spruce tree just uh, grew. What the heck is going on? There's also a... Uh, I saw an iron golem up here. I'm scared to, like, walk on this now. Because I don't have... That sounds terrible. That sounds really close, too. I don't have my leather boots, so I'm going to sink right in. I'm a little bit worried about that. All right, so we got our horse. We got a villager. Some... How did you even get, a... I guess, through here? That is awesome. That's a nice surprise. I don't want that iron golem. There he is. I don't want him coming around here in case I make a mistake. You know what? The series has gotten to the point now where I don't want to do anything. <laughs> because I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, man. So there are some things on my list today that I want to do. First and foremost is to cordon off an area for my cattle. I don't think it's going to be super big at first. Because I want to breed the cattle because I want to have a nice enchanting setup. So we're going to try to keep it relatively small. Ooh. You know what? Let's try to do a row of spruce here because I, I know I'm going to need some spruce for my build. My build, by the way, is probably going to be around here, as I mentioned before. We might have to clear it. You know what? Let's do a little bit of clearing right now. I'm trying to think where the best place would be. Maybe up here where the snow is just touching it? Huh? Huh? We could do like a, an exposed basement sort of build. That might work. That might work. We should mark that off as well. Um, before we do anything, though, let's go and do this. Do I have a book? I know I have this enchanting uh, Unbreaking 2 book, but I don't think I have a book ready. So we're going to go and do that. One, two, three. I don't have the four emeralds anyway. Or I didn't have the four emeralds anyway for the... um for buying the lead. Why buy a lead when you can kill for it? I always say. It's terrible, I know. Okay, here we go. One, okay, like that. Enchanting table. Oh, baby, this is gonna, this is gonna take a load off my chest if we can just enchant all this armor, unbreaking and breaking fire protection. Okay, that's already a bad start. Blast protection, projectile protection. Are you kidding me? Protection one, that's what I want. Protection one, that's what I want. Protection one. Ugh, a feather falling actually would not be a bad investment for me. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we have three stacks of cobble. I am going to need some supplies as well for uh, for my builds, like, like materials to build with. Our food is okay. Let me make a bunch of fences right now. I'm going to also need uh, some wheat so that I can feed and breed these cows. Just do a bunch of fences. Oops. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! We have a bunch of fence. Let's get down to our pasture. Huh? Huh? I'm really getting this whole cowboy lingo down. <laughs> Let's go down to our pasture and set up a little area for these cows. Now, I do have a few cows in there already. Look at that. Feather falling already saved me from a little bit of damage anyway. I have a little, I have a few cows here. Oh, that's so cool with the water coming down like that. Let's see. We only have like two cows here. I'm going to have some, I have to get some wheat. And um, you know what? Let's build it right here. Let's make this sort of an entrance. Because I feel like we'll probably take over that village anyway. <laughs> at some point. Um, how high up should we go? Because I don't want it all flat land either. You know, I want it kind of a little bit higher. Like this. I guess the cows can technically walk right in. That's okay. That's alright. The more cows the better, right? Maybe we'll have some rogue cows that want to join our uh, ranch. So we'll do something like that, make it look really uneven and stuff, and really natural looking, like you'd see in a real um, branch. I keep using the word branch, and I don't know if I'm using it correctly. Okay. Oh, how many of these do I have? Okay, I think we have a decent amount. So let's go and start curling it off here. Now, eventually, I can I can make this bigger. Um, let's do this right to the edge of the water here. The heck was that? Oh, this is going to be exciting. Three more here. I think that's going to be nice. Oh, look at this. We're already attracting some cows. He wants to be part of the family. Oh, I did it again. It's really annoying. <laughs> Why isn't it just replacing this instead of... Uh, okay, let's do that. Now, I think it's probably time to start turning it... Inwards, like I said, I'm going to expand this later on, but for now, I just want a nice little spot for the cows to call home. And then we're going to separate our horses from our cat, our horses from our cattle. Right there. Where's this one? This one is over here. Let's curl it. Start curling it this way. Mm, let's just, yeah, I'll maybe put a couple more here as well. These are tall fences on this side anyway. I don't want them to be able to escape. Okay, how, how's this? That's going to be all right, I think. Let's keep going. Nope, that's too far out. I hear a skeleton. There's like bad stuff everywhere. Did you guys hear that? This is it. This is our cow area with, hmm, I don't like the looks of that right there, um, with only one cow in it, which is, I don't really like the way this is shaped. Either. You know what? Let's take a look at the top of this place, because I feel like if we see the top, we might think it looks a little bit better because it will look more natural, I hope. So let's go up to the hill here. Oh, that's not bad at all. That does look, that does look kind of ranchy, doesn't it? It does look kind of ranchy. Okay, so. Um, I have to find a little spot. I don't want to do my wheat farm up there. I want to kind of do it down here. Possibly. And again, we're going to try... I don't have a hoe on me. No. We're going to try to make it not super... Um, I, I like things to look organic and not like grid-like. So we're going to try to make it look a little bit more organic. Um, uh, is this my tree farm right here? No, it's over there. And it's already growing. Fantastic. Guys, we're doing great. We are doing great. We even have a villager. 
I don't even, I was already thinking, hey, if I wanted to like set up a villager um, breeding station or a villager trade station, I'm going to need a villager. And so I have to transport a villager from there or from right around Whale Tail Peak. That's right, Whale Tail Peak. Somebody suggested it looked like a whale's tail. And I like the idea of calling it a Whale Tail Peak. So uh, around Whale Tail Peak, there's that village back there. And I was already thinking I would have to um, uh, transport them via the good old fashioned rail. But we won't have to do that. We already have one here. So maybe we'll get lucky and just another one will find its way in. <laughs> Where did he come from, though? I'm really curious about that because there's no way it came. I mean, I guess he could have come from that village. Ah, I don't know. This is a mystery to be solved later. Let's... We do have some bones to get us started here. Um... I would like to save some for a dog. So let's just do two. Oh, we could set up a um, a composter. That's something we could do, especially since we have so much wood. How do you do that again? Something like this? Is it just like that? I think that might just be it. Right? Yeah, composter. Okay, we might be able to get some uh, greenery from there. I tried to access it. And more of these guys would be nice as well. Perfect. Okay. Everything's coming up Millhouse. What were we on our way to do? Oh, yeah. I needed to make a hoe. Perfect. Oh, I, that's not what I wanted to do. And we'll make it out of stone right now. We're not going to waste any iron on a hoe at the... Do I have a hoe in here? No. No, I do not. I only have 10 iron. That can't be right. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. A little more, a little more coal in there. We have 25 coal in here, 14 iron. That's all, huh? Not good. Sugar cane as well we're going to need. A little sugar cane farm. Oh, my gosh. It's been a long time since I did something like this, so I'm a little bit discombobulated. Potato farm would be nice. Maybe we'll bring some of that down there. Maybe plant some beets. Why not? We can use that at a later, later date. There we go. Some carrots, some melons, and we're going to need some water, which I have a bucket. Uh, I'm going to have to find another water source so I can make an infinite source down there uh, so I don't have to keep coming back up here for water or somewhere else for water. Let's do the hoe. That might not even be enough. I'm going to make another hoe. That's right. Two hoes. Faux show. I'm going to leave that. Nope. I'm going to leave that there. Leave that there. Leave this there. And I think we are good to go down and start making our farm. Then we're going to come back up, and we are going to chop down those spruce pieces. I like that a lot. Oh, I like how round, not round, but how asymmetrical it is. I can't wait to make the next one for the horses. we got to get those cows in there, though. And to do that, we're going to need some of this good stuff. Um, so I'm going to make it right here. Oh, this kind of sucks. I have to go get water from somewhere, and the closest source is here but i don't really want to do that oh wow it comes from way up there um okay okay how about maybe we do or maybe we go and get some from somewhere else i don't know where to go to get some water it's got to be coming from the village right let me go up there i don't want to remove it completely i just want to borrow some and maybe they'll have, like, um, multiple sources up there that I can, quote-unquote, borrow. Well, looks like that's the lone source. I'm going to put a torch here so I can replace the water because I like, I like the waterfall idea. So it's going to come back. Don't worry, villagers. I didn't take a na Ooh, I didn't take a natural uh, feature away from you. I promise it, it will be back. Oh, and I also boop, stole some of this hay. So I can, I mean, borrowed some of the hay, villagers. I borrowed some of the hay so I can get some of these cows to get inside this thing. I need a gate in here, or a couple gates probably, um, here eventually. But for now... Let's try to get some of these cows in here. And then we'll set up the farm. 
I hope none of these guys can... Oh, you know what? I think I'm able to coax them. I make them go over. Oh, there's another one there. That's three, plus the one we have is four. Oh, that looks really nice down there. There's a lot of flowers here, too. Uh, so four cows, that's going to be good for breeding purposes. Come on, cow. Now follow me. There's a couple cows right up there, too. <laughs> oh, and I think I saw... I think there's a couple right up there. Oh, and another one there. We're going to have a lot of cows. We're going to have a lot of... This guy already lost interest. There we go. That'll be good for now. Let's breed these guys. I'll get the other ones later. They're probably not going to go anywhere. There we go. Make the babies, cows. My herd is growing already. Uh, now, let's go ahead and... Oh, can I... Ah, that would have been pretty professional. Okay. Let's try this one more time right here. Nailed it. Let's go make this little area here, and then I'll go up and replace the... Um, <laughs> The, the source block of water that I messed up for the villagers. I do just a random assortment of stuff. We want this to look nice and natural. I'm not trying to be the most efficient Minecrafter in the world. I'm just trying to make this look really cool. Now let's put another source of water here so that this stuff back here gets some attention. Uh, I don't really need all of this source water. It's just temporary until I figure out what to do with it. So we'll plant some wheat here. Okay. Random places again. A couple carrots here. Some taters. This is going to look real nice when it's grown, I promise. Melon seeds. Got to be kind of careful with these, but kind of not. Uh, beetroot. This is just like the life of a not so efficient farmer. <laughs> we'll do some of that. Maybe some of this. Couple more taters here. Not probably. That's a lot of taters. Okay, that's probably going to be good. For now. No, we're still planting taters. I think that's probably going to be good for now. Awesome. Now, let me go all the way back up there. I think it was coming down here-ish. Let me go all the way back the, up there and then replace the source block because I really like that little waterfall. Here it is. Let's watch it trickle down. Hopefully it looks sort of similar to what it was before. So far, so good. Look at my little cows there. Oh, that looks so cool. We gotta, we gotta name this like the eye of the hill or something like that. The hill has eyes. <laughs> the hills, the hills have eye. There we go. Um, let's see how it's looking. Looking pretty good. Hopefully it'll spread out down there. It should, in theory, spread out the same way it was before, right? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be nice. That's going to be nice. That's perfect. That's what I want. Ouch. I got to go sleep. Hi, Spot. Uh-oh. 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 Not good. Not good. Okay. Let's try sleeping now. Please nobody blow me up. Please nobody blow me up. Please nobody blow me up. Okay, that's good news. Ooh, that could have been bad. There's a creeper right down there, too. Okay. All right, that's good. We did. There's a creeper right there, too. That is scaring me a little bit. Maybe we'll take care of him before he becomes a problem. Excuse me. Get shot, bro. I missed him. Oh, here we go. Stay still. Okay, he's dead. We have one of these guys in here. Whoop. That's not bad. Now, let's chop this down real quick. 
then I think what I'm going to do is try and figure out an outline for my cabin. And then the next episode, hopefully, we'll build it. Now, the way these episodes are constructed, I don't want to spend an entire episode just placing blocks. That might be a little bit boring. But like I promised at the beginning, you will see the whole process of me building the cabin. What might happen is I build part of it, and then we finish it at a later time. Like probably the following episode. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, hold on. We got to get another... Axe. We have to go mining for more iron as well. We do not have enough. I wonder, do we have enough to make uh, two, three? I think we have enough to make an anvil, which I think will come in handy. But in the meantime, oh, I thought I had some sticks on me. Oh, there's only one stick in there, really? I don't want to use spruce to do that. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the hiss of a creeper. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's scary. That was scary. This series has me a little bit on edge. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Oh yeah, okay. Oh man. This is, I'm nervous right now. I'm shaking. I thought, I thought my mind was telling me that is the hiss of a creeper. Yikes, I'm so glad it wasn't. It would have been lights out, and I'm really kind of excited about all this stuff I have going on here. That would have really put a damper on things. <laughs> and by damper, I mean it would have ended things. Whew! One thing I saw up there... Oh, wait, you know what? I should get, um... You know what I should have? Is a set of armor for building, and a set of armor for traveling, and then a set of armor for exploring or caving because I need to be in leather when I'm walking up these hills. I don't want to fall down some chasm and die. That will not be good for business. That's not going to be good for anyone. Seinfeld reference. Um, I did see this coal and I am low on coal. So let me get that. I guess we could do charcoal. I'll fill this, by the way, later on. We don't want to have uh, the hills have eye looking like it has even more eyes. So I will fill it with probably some snow or something. But I'll go ahead and make use of this nicely exposed coal for now. Oh, that wasn't... Ah. Oh! I hear it. Sounds like above or below. There's more coal there. Okay, let's keep an eye on this little area here. We'll mark it with we'll mark it with a torch. We definitely there's a cave back here, and it could provide us with useful materials and stuff. So let's mark that. Um the snow should stop. It really should. It reduces visibility. I get a little worried. All right, so now I want to just mark out where I think roughly the house would go. This is subject to change because sometimes I change my mind on things. But for the most part, it should stay the same. If we want to build it up there, I'm going to grab a couple more stacks of this good stuff right here. Oh, and the anvil. Should we do unbreaking on this or should we wait until we have a full... Efficiency, efficiency. Okay. I think maybe we'll wait. We'll wait it out a little bit to add unbreaking because we might not need unbreaking on it. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have the cabin start here. Okay. Now this might look a little squared at first just because I'm trying to mark off a general direction. And then the cabin will continue on to different elevations. So we'll, we'll, we'll clear out the inside, obviously, of the cabin, but the outside will kind of stay the same. This might be going a little bit too far here. Here, let's clear out this. I don't want it to sort of get interfered with by the trees. And I don't know what materials I'm going to be using. I'm just marking it with cobble for now, just because I want it to... Uh, I just want to get a sense of what I'm working with here. Now, should we make it go right up here? don't know if that's advisable. Let's not do that. And we'll just bring it up right here. I 
again, it's squared, but it will not be squared when it's finished. Is that, it's pretty, I mean, here's, here's the plan. I want to have some sort of a porch either here or here, like a, a deck or something. So I can sit out here in my swinging, my rocking chair, my swinging chair, the swing, the, a swing, <laughs> a porch swing. That's what I'm looking for. And, uh, and watch the world go by. And then I'll have paths that lead out into different directions. Probably a path down to there to connect to their paths. And then a path by Whale Tail Peak, Whale, Whale Tail Hill. Whale Tail, I forgot what I called it. It's Whale Tail something. Maybe you guys can remind me. What did I call it? Wait, whale, it's not Whale Tail Mountain. I think it was Whale Tail Peak. But anyway, yeah. So we'll have plenty of room in the cabin here. And then, of course, we're going to have offshoots of the cabin. In fact, it's not going to be squared. I will probably bring out, like, jut out a section of the cabin back here for, like, a, um, a different build area or a different purpose so that it doesn't look so squared and stuff. But anyway, that's for another day. What else can we accomplish today that will um, really advance our goals? I got I to gotta chop down more of that. Oh, I can mark off other things too, like a stable for my horses. Or a barn for my horses, I should say. So the cows will be there. Ouch. Where should I put the barn? The horses will be... Do I still have the fences on me? I have 50 fences left. I might need more. I gotta, I gotta chop that, that down too. Um, but I'm thinking... Oh, I got the perfect spot for that stable for the horses. Right there. Right there with the stable exits facing into the corralled areas or oh, right here yep right here nice flat place this is where we're going to build the stable something like that enough for maybe three or four horses i'll figure out the width of it later but for now this is what we'll have like so these estimations are approximate So what we'll do is we'll have a um, little area here for the horses and it'll lead right into their fenced off area so they can run free and wild and stuff like that. And then that even gives me space to expand the, uh, the cow section. So that's good. That's for the horses. Good. I have one horse so far. There's plenty of horses around here. I don't think I'll have a hard time uh, catching horses. We should breed these guys um, many, many more times. So that we have enough to make an entire enchanting setup. Where should I do the enchanting setup though? Inside my barn? Or outside my barn? Or not my barn, sorry, my cabin. Maybe a separate building for it? None of the wheat is growing. That's not wheat. Oh, they changed. Here we go. It's been changed. That's, that's not it either, is it? Okay. Well, eventually the wheat will grow. Wow, I can't believe I don't even know what things are anymore. Beetroot. What the heck can I make with beet? Why did I plant beetroot? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, let me see. That's there. So we should put one there. And one there. And we should have maybe another one here-ish. Dang it. I need to make a infinite spring. Anyway. I think that's going to be it for this episode. You know, you don't you don't know what you're going to get with these episodes. Sometimes you have uh, hyper realism and hyper uh, um, dangerous episodes. And then other times you have more of a farming episode like this. That's what that's the beauty of it. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any suggestions for our ranch-style uh, home, please let me know. Right now, I think I have a pretty decent plan with um, with the barn there and then the lodge up here. But other than that, yeah, I'm open to suggestions. We're probably going to have a little pigsty area because why not? Definitely a chicken coop. Definitely a chicken coop. And I'm going to make it an automatic sort of egg collecting chicken coop, I think. Maybe even it'll roast some chickens automatically for me when I when I need it to be. When I need when I need that to be the case. 
L looking at it now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make this area for the cabin much bigger because I came up the hill and it did not look as big as I wanted it to look. So keep an eye out for that as well. Ooh, and some sheep. Let's go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I'll see you in the next one. Let's make sure I wake up. Ah, good. Bye-bye.